Money is pouring into North Carolina for some of the state's biggest races this fall. Democrats worry about losing control of Congress, but new numbers show some of them are bringing in more money than Republicans running against them. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh with more on this impact. Michael. This is going to be one of the key states that helps determine if Republicans take back control. And even as the president's popularity falls, some Democrats are still raking in money heading into November. It's time to stand up to the drug companies. It's the first ad where Democrat Sherry Beasley goes directly after Republican Ted Budd in North Carolina Senate race over a vote on capping insulin costs. Beasley has stayed on TV since the primary as she's raised millions just in the last few months. New numbers show her campaign raised a record $7.4 million in the second quarter, more than triple what Bud raised in the same period. He was also in a competitive primary during that time, which Beasley wasn't. But Meredith College political analyst David McLennan says it's happening even as the president's approval plummets. A lot of Democrats around the country, including North Carolina, who are downplaying Joe Biden's national numbers and really even saying they're they're, they're not relevant. In the 13th congressional district in the Triangle, Democrat Wiley Nickel reported having five times the cash on hand that Republican Bo Hines does. In the 14th district, which includes part of Charlotte, Democrat Jeff Jackson raised more than twice as much as Republican Pat Harrigan in the second quarter. McLennan says the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade has played a role. In some races across the country, there's been a boost, up to 20% boost. But outside groups are ready to spend, too. In the 2020 Senate race, Democrat Cal Cunningham raised twice as much as Republican Tom Tillis, but still lost. Open Secrets, which tracks spending, says outside groups spent over $222 million that year, triple what the campaigns did combined. The outside groups have so many different rules and regulations applied to them that are make it easier for them to raise and spend money without reporting and other things. McLennan says with the outside spending that by this fall, things should be about equal, especially in the Senate race. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.